Hi everybody, this is Bug S Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Legends Typhoid Mary figure. So before we take a look at Mary, let's take a look at her accessories. So first up, her Build-A-Figure piece she comes with is the left leg of the Monster Venom Build-A-Figure. And her only other accessory is this Samurai Sword. And this is the same thing that we've seen with uh, a couple other figures. Uh, first was the um, Psylocke figure. I think this was used one other time, wasn't it? Or maybe I'm, I'm thinking of Typhoid Mary. I think I might be thinking of her. But yep, this has been used before with the Psylocke figure. Except this time, this one was actually done with collar. The other one was in translucent pink. So the handle's done in brown. Blade's done in silver. And this is a flame effect. And the flame effect looks really nice. I like how it has the yellow and orange mixed in with it. And it's translucent. It just looks really good. So let's go ahead and... Slide that back on there. And she can hold it pretty well. They uh, they made the flame there so that... Hold on here, let me slide this into her hand. They made the flame so that it wraps a little bit around her hand too. And helps her to hold the sword. And she can hold it pretty well. Sometimes it'll drop out of her hand. As you can see, it's kind of wobbling a little bit. But for the most part, it'll stay. So now let's take a look at her head sculpt. So taking a look at this head sculpt... I really like this head sculpt, and it's a, it's a new head sculpt, or at the time that it was released it was. Like I said in my previous video, I've been so caught up trying to review the new things that I uh, did not review all the old things I had, so now I'm going to try to get them out of the way. But um, the head sculpt looks really good, and there, there was a running change, and I can't remember what the running change was. I want to say it was like she had eyeshadow on or the lips were different or something. Maybe it was both. Maybe the eye sh she had eyeshadow on and the lips were different. But this head sculpt looks really good. I really like it. Looking at the rest of the figure, I I really like this because uh, one thing I want to say is I'm pretty sure Hasbro's probably going to use this for a classic Emma Frost. I don't think they're using it on the... Uh, the Marvel Now Emma Frost, but a classic one. I can definitely see them using the torso here. And the lower torso with that belt and everything. I, I'm i really hoping I'm right. I figure Hasbro probably already has it planned. And we'll probably see something at uh, Comic-Con about it. But yes, I definitely think this will be used for a classic Emma Frost. And the jacket piece is new. And it's very pliable. And I'm pretty sure the arms... Well, the arms are similar to the uh, Jessica Jones Netflix figure. I don't think they're the same, but they definitely look similar. And taking a look at the leg, the right leg is just very plain. And I feel like they should have sculpted something to it, you know, to make it like pants. Just like her boots, they're supposed to, you're just supposed to roll this down like that. But I would have preferred sculpted on boots. Or maybe like uh, some combat boots, that would have been nice. Like use the uh, X-23 Wolverine's uh, boots. I think that would have looked really good. Just like they painted on the uh, the stockings right here, the fishnets. And I think it would have looked a lot better to, to sculpt them on. It would have looked a lot better for them to actually use real stockings. But we all know that's not going to happen. But they didn't do too bad of a job of matching up the skin tone there. But yeah, it definitely would have looked better if they would have sculpted it. So that's about all to go over with this figure. This is going to be a super short review, but that's why I'm that's why I did two today. Um, so now let's go over her articulation. She has a ball jointed head that can look back slightly. She can't look back all the way, but she can look down all the way. This strand of hair right here over her shoulder doesn't hinder that. It's very soft and will move out of the way, so she can look down all the way. She can move her head side to side. She has ball jointed shoulders. They can move out all the way. She has single jointed elbows that can move in that far. She has swivel at the wrist that can move side to side and up and down. She has ball jointed diaphragm that can move back all the way and not really down all the way. Well, can't really move down that far at all, but it can move side to side. She has ball jointed hips that can only move out that far. I think that was really disappointing that she really can't move them out that far. Um, she can kick forward all the way. She can kick back just a little bit. She has swiveled the thigh, and I knew that was going to drop out. Um, she has swiveled the thigh, double jointed knee, swiveled the ankle that can move down all the way, up all the way, and she has an ankle rocker. 
So the articulation is pretty standard, you know. So now let's do some size comparisons here. So let's try and get her to standing. There. Okay, so now for some size comparisons. Here she is next to Daredevil. She is mainly a Daredevil villain, but she's faced off against quite a few heroes. Um, recently she faced off against Iron Fist and the X-Men and Spider-Man in, um, I think it was called Typhoid Kiss or something like that. It was a three-part crossover event that Marvel did a couple months ago. So there she is next to Daredevil. Here she is next to Pizza Spider-Man. And, and finally, here she is next to Deadpool. Because a few years ago, uh, there was a crossover. It was a three-part crossover. It was Daredevil. Was it Daredevil Spider-Man? I think it was Daredevil Spider-Man, Power Man, and Iron Fist. It was called Temporary and Sanitation. And it was a it was a really good crossover event with uh, all of them. And Deadpool's in it, and they fought. So overall, I'd highly recommend this figure. I think it's pretty simple, you know. It doesn't have any, like, crazy paint apps or anything like that. But it's still a pretty good figure. So, that's my review. And if you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.